Hey everybody, my name is Frank, this is Emily, this is Zach. And the guy over there, the guy over there, this is um, Tom. Tom is a young professional and he's 28 years old. And we have a problem, or oh, Tom, or oh, we have um, we have a problem that we um, that young professionals like Tom um, between the age of um, 20 and 25, uh, 35 has a hard access to find monkey socks. And uh, Zach is going to explain how we solve this problem. So our solution starts with taking in old clothing and we're going to break down that old clothing into its uh, natural fibers and we're going to build new socks out of them. After we have those new socks built, we're going to ship them to you monthly uh, with your with your membership, and then once you get those socks, they're yours, you paid for them, uh, so you do whatever you want with them. So our industry trends are monthly boxes, which right now you can find just about anything in a monthly box, uh, between shaving equipment to fishing equipment, just about anything. Also changing fashion trends. Um, everything is changing fashion-wise, men, women, uh, from socks, shoes, hats, jackets. Also, there's the green movement, which new businesses, even old businesses, are moving in the way of green movement, as in solar panels, uh, recycled products, recycled shipping containers, uh, just about everything. So we wanted to combine all three, and we are going to have a uh, funky sock club where we ship you monthly a box of socks of your choice, which our socks are recycled, and our box that we ship it in is recycled, which puts us in the green movement uh, section. So our opportunity size, we are focusing on men, and men in the U.S. is just above uh, 150 million, and uh, men in Indiana is just below 600,000, men in Illinois is just above 1 million, and uh, men in Kentucky is just under 400,000, which we are going to try to target in that tri-state area at about 10%, which is just, on, just above uh, 225 million or 225,000. And a couple stats about the sock industry is that last year it was valued at 2.8 billion and uh, they've had a constant constant growth of about 14% since 2012. That's more than pants, tops, uh, shoes, shirts, anything else in the men's apparel world. And for men's apparel in general, it has grown for, uh, from 5% uh, since 2012. Now on to Emily. So what Tom is looking at today for the current options are four of our competitors. All four competitors offer non-traditional styles and patterns in socks. Only two of our competitors offer recycled material um, through their sock production. And then only one of our competitors offers automatic home delivery. So this idea of the monthly box automatically being sent to the customer. The two things that distinguish us from our competitors are the monthly rewards and the kickstart program. Uh, monthly rewards is the idea that if you purchase two of our socks and then send them back to us for recycling, then we will send you a new pair of socks. And kickstart is an online marketing campaign that helps connect new businesses with customers to help them project how many sales they'll have. Um, Zach is going to present our problems and solutions on our link campus. So for our problems, we identified that access, convenience, time, and recycled materials are all something that Tom has a problem with. So for our solution, uh, our number one solution is the monthly membership. That solves the problems of access, convenience, and time, which a huge contributor of that is the uh, online section of that, which eliminates the going to the store and uh, things of that nature. And our recycled materials, our socks are recycled, as well as our uh, shipping uh, shipment. Now on to Emily. Our unique value proposition for Funky Socks is for young males who are looking to wear fashionable and recycled socks. Funky Socks will address this by using 100% recycled materials, both in the socks and the packaging. Our customer segment, like Tom earlier, is going to be males between the ages of 20 to 35. We really want to target young business professionals who have a need for fashionable socks. And then also residents who are in the area, the tri-state area. We're going to start small and then hopefully branch out and go bigger. Our channels that Funky Socks will be operating through are 
First and foremost is going to be the company website. This is how customers are going to sign up for the monthly membership and receive the boxes every month. And then our second uh, channel is going to be social media. We're going to use things such as Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter to get the word out that we are up and operating. And then the third is local business ventures, something like the Franklin Street Market, so that people can come and actually touch and feel our product before they sign up for this monthly membership. And then Frank is going to give us our unfair advantage. Um, we have two unfair advantage that we are going, that I'm going to explain. First of all, we have the customer engagement and uh, the control of the customer. Like the customer can decide um, which combination of the Funky Sock Club he wants to purchase. And the second one is the um, current uh, creation of the rating, like thumbs up or thumbs down. And the key metric is um, how, how do we measure that we are successful? We have um, three keys. First of all, the amount of recycled material. Um, second, um, the rating, like I said, with thumbs up and thumbs down. And number three is um, the number of monthly subscription back to So what is the unique proposition for Funky Socks? Uh, for young males who do not have easy access to fashionable recycled socks. Funky Socks has the benefit of being recycled, fashionable, and uh, convenient. Unlike our competitors, Zanco Monthly Sock Club and Funky Socks offers a monthly membership for fashionable and recycled socks. So in conclusion, Funky Socks is going to address the um, lack of convenience and access to recycled socks and give people like Tom the opportunity to get socks on a regular basis that are more convenient. Thanks, guys.